Good day to you. Chuck Cameron here with Amy Desitel, a lovely person. I am the executive director of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce, um, and we're so glad to be here today to share what the chamber does. Uh, we do ribbon cuttings for our new chamber members. You can join the chamber at OxfordChamber.net. There's a lot of value to your chamber membership. As a new business owner, we um, do things to market you. We have a newsletter that goes out to thousands of people, not just our chamber members. We have Facebook that thousands of people follow us for upcoming events and what you have going on with your business. Uh, we do Coffee Connects, Mix and Mingles, Networks at Noon. We have a golf outing coming up. And they're all networking um, events that you bring a little bit of what, you, what your business has and um, what you have going on to share. And other business, like-minded business owners will be there. And, um, but the biggest thing we do is the ribbon cutting. Excellent. Well, what we've done in the past year, we've done with you some yes. ribbon cuttings at a number of businesses. Yes. And what we're doing now is kind of doing some follow-up, closing the loop back. And we've interviewed, and we will interview maybe a dozen businesses which have had ribbon cuttings to see how they're doing and what benefits they've had. And so far, we've gotten some really, they've mentioned that they've gotten a real value by being a part of the chamber. Um, really, with the ribbon cutting, we start to promote that business and let the community know that they're they're here, um, what they have to offer. We, for the ribbon cutting, will invite uh, local officials, OCTV, um, other chamber members to welcome them in. And then that kind of spreads word around the community that they're here. And the day of the ribbon cutting, uh, you know, people come out and it gives them a moment to share everything that they uh, have worked so hard to uh, bring to the community and what they have going on. Excellent. Well, they get to shine and we're finding from them that uh, they're really pleased to be a part of this community. Most businesses are. Yes. And, and we're seeing them uh, prosper. Most businesses do. They really do. And once they're here, Oxford is a very tight-knit community and they rally around these businesses and they want to uh, shop local. They want to uh, make them feel uh, that, you know, it's something we need in our community. And really, I mean, we have such a diverse between the movie theater, the restaurants, the uh, different breweries. Uh, the park and everything that goes on in this park, there is a lot for this community and our residents to share in. Um, oh, and speaking of residents, we have welcome bags that our new uh, yep. business owners can put their marketing material into the new homeowners moving into the area. We give them to the village and the township and some realtors, and that's a great way to get their name out to people that aren't familiar with the areas they're moving in. Excellent. What is dementia? Is it the same as Alzheimer's? What is vascular dementia, Lewy body, FTD, TBI, and CTE? If someone has memory loss, does that mean they have dementia? Millions of Americans ask these questions every day. I did too, and I learned. My wife, Ginny, developed dementia. I didn't know what to do or what was coming next. I'm Kevin Jamison, volunteer and president of the Dementia Society of America. I'm excited to offer you a free guide to understanding dementia. It's filled with facts about dementia, care planning, how doctors can help, and ways to keep your brain as healthy as possible. The Dementia Society of America is a national nonprofit, and we're ready to answer your questions. You want to live life to the fullest. I know that. Ginny did too, and I'm confident that we can help. Get your copy of the guide. Go to 1-800-Dementia.org or call 1-800-Dementia. Thank you. Good day to you. This is Chuck Cameron, OCTV with Heather Shaleko. Heather, we are at Wild and Rooted. We have been here before. <laughs> Thanks for letting us come in the door on a beautiful morning. We're here to talk a little bit about your ribbon cutting, since your ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce. How has that been? How's your business going? And how do you 
connect with the chamber and how does the chamber help you? Well, those are a lot of questions. Let's see if I remember them all. <laughs> you have 11 seconds. Perfect. <laughs> so uh, things have been going great since the ribbon cutting. I think that really brought more awareness to our business name change, letting people in the community know maybe who weren't aware of us before um, that we are here. We also started doing consultations since then. Those have been doing great. Um, just bringing more awareness to like our classes and networking. The chamber is so good with helping network and letting everybody know what's going on in the community. Okay. So what are these classes and what are the consulting? So I am um, just finishing my degree as a naturopathic doctor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also an herbalist and a lactation consultant and a nutritionist. So we can do a lot of different classes um, and consults around all of those areas. So as far as consultations, I really specialize in moms and children. Um, also with any type of thyroid issues, autoimmune is my specialty. Uh, as far as classes go, we do a lot of nutrition education classes, so cooking with kids. Uh, we partner with Oxford Parks and Rec and teach some classes out there. Um, and as far as classes here, we do a lot of like DIY herb classes, like how to make your own herbal infused oils. Um, we have like a cleansing class, parasite classes. Um, throughout the year, we do different themed classes, like what's more appropriate seasonally as well with herbs. That sounds like a lot to learn, and it sounds like when you talk about it, there's a lot you'd like to teach people. Yes, that is my passion for sure, is teaching and educating everyone in the community. Just any little bit that you can try and do to make someone's life a little bit healthier and help them out. So if you out there wanted to be healthier or be helped out, either one, right? Yes. Yeah, if you wanted to be healthier or helped out, or maybe both, yeah. you should come to, where should they come to? Wild and rooted. So we are now at the corner of Washington and Burdick Street. Our new address is 6 South Washington, Suite A. Excellent. So you get that? If you want to be healthy, wealthy, and wise, well, at least healthy, <laughs> you should come to Wild and Rooted, right? Yes. Right, right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Chuck Cameron and my best friend, my best friend of the day, saying, stop by. Okay, Chuck Cameron here on a beautiful Oxford afternoon with Larry Buss. Larry, how's it going? Doing very well. Thanks for being with us, guys. It's a great place you've got here. I love the way it, it smells like really cool bikes. <laughs> yes, it does. Everybody. I'm used to that by now, so I have my nose. <laughs> yep. When we walked in, we noticed that. We are doing today what I mentioned to you. We're doing a follow-up from the ribbon cuttings that the Oxford Chamber did last year. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to check on how's the business going and is it, has it been a value to you to be a part of the, the chamber? What does it do for you? So comments on either of those two things would be really helpful, and then we'll get out of your way. All right, sounds good. Yeah, the chamber has been awesome with getting us out there in the community and letting people know we're here. Um, since the ribbon cutting, we've been doing, I mean, people have been really embracing this bike shop. Um, everybody everybody just likes come, having a local bike shop, and the fact that we have quite a bit of inventory on, you know, in stock at all times really helps too. I noticed that when I looked around, I thought, boy, there's a lot more stuff than we were seeing the first time we were here. Tell us what you've added. We've added uh, about four more bike lines. I've got some e-bikes. I've got uh, just a lot of different variety of parts. Like if you come in here, 
Uh, if we don't have a part you need, I'd kinda, we're kind of surprised, honestly, because the turnaround here is, is very quick. When we were in here the first time, you mentioned that because the trail is right over there, that you had hoped to, to make people aware that you might be able to be helpful to bikers on the trail. Has that turned into anything for you? Well, so far, people that have been coming off the trail that need like a tube or like a water bottle cage or whatever it may be, being so close to the trail is definitely a blessing. It that really is. And you've been involved in some activities on the trail. Tell us about that. Well, on Sundays, we host a Pollyann Peddler group ride. It's a nice casual ride. It goes through September, um, and it, a friend, you know, family is invited, kids of any age. It's, uh, we go about three and a half miles out, and we go three and a half miles back. We either go towards Frosty Boy, or we go towards that way, and it, there's a tree house that we stop at and turn around. Cool. Where would they find out information? They can find out on the Facebook page, Pollyann Peddlers. Pollyann Peddlers, huh? Pollyann Peddlers, yep, yep. Right. So it's official. All right. Well, we'll let you get back to work. It's good to hear that the Chamber Connections have brought you both interest and maybe some business mm -hmm. and that you're waving the flag for them like we're, they're with, waving the flag for you. 100%. Yeah, it's a great working uh, situation on both parties. And uh, we got the Chamber Golf Outing coming up. I'll yep. be there as well. So. Yep. All right. Well, we are sitting here in a wonderful bike shop. If you haven't been by Oxford Bikes, you got to come by. The place is great and it even smells good. Thank you, buddy. Chuck Cameron, Larry Buss, have a great day. Think buying fake products is harmless? Think again. Think fake cosmetics are tested and safe? <laughs> Think again. Think that medicine you can buy off social media is high quality? Hmm. Think again. Counterfeits are made in unsafe conditions, potentially using hazardous and even lethal ingredients that could harm you and others. Each year, billions of dollars worth of counterfeit products are sold in the U.S. I smell big crime. Think about it. If you don't know where the products came from, how could you know where the money goes? You're smart. Buy smart. Go for real. Okay, Chuck and Scott here in the back of Sick Pizza, which I just dearly love. Scott, you had a ribbon cutting last year for your amazing truck. Your truck that goes around and brightens people's lives by making and delivering pizza. We are here to talk about... How has it been as being a member of the chamber and how has being a member of the chamber helped you with especially that truck business? Thanks, Chuck. Um, the mobile food unit is what we like to call it. Ooh, I like and uh, it's we had a successful year after our ribbon cutting. Uh, we probably did about 25 events last year stemming from, you know, with from uh Graduation open houses to we were out at Wildwood a few times in Orion for concerts. Um, we took it to concerts in the park in Oxford a couple times. And we just learned a lot from it. Like um, some events we learned we didn't necessarily need that trailer there. We could have just made the pizza in shop and, and mm -hmm. deliver them somewhere. Um, just because you're, you're incurring quite a bit more costs with fuel and sure. labor and everything else to have the truck. But um the the chamber was great that was such a successful event and and that having the opportunity to be in washington square and and being able to have our families there and and uh the whole chamber showed up which i think is awesome it's it's a great team of uh a team of volunteers you know and and i think that's uh that's that's when you know that there's a true passion for the community is when all the community members all the business owners they come out every time for every ribbon cutting and i just i think that's awesome not just the people that are necessarily uh in the hierarchy of the chamber but just chamber members so real folks yeah and i've really appreciated them you know we're going on our third year now open with the store and uh we just celebrated a year with the truck excellent well your truck brings a lot of pleasure to a lot of people where does it go and how often is it on the road so um starting mid-may till about july um we're out about four times a week 
Um, and we're from, we're doing a concert at St. Mary's on Friday night. We're doing a charity bike race on Saturday. Um, school fair, school carnivals, uh, lots of open houses. Um, that's the open houses are really good because um, those we can pre-plan pretty well as far as um, they've got a pretty good idea of counts and uh, it works out better usually for the customers with money too just because we can offer you know pretty good savings if we're not charging each person that walks up um, so um, obviously any food truck guy is going to tell you or any restaurant guy is going to tell you a prepaid events the best event yes, sir. Um, but uh, realize, you know, we're realists and, and we also love helping our community, either Orient or Oxford. So we do a lot of things that we don't necessarily make a bunch of money on, but you know, it's great exposure. It's fun watching people smile and people are amazed that that pizza comes out of that trailer. Cause I mean, it, it literally is the same pizza that's in the shop and it actually cooks better in the trailer. Um, <laughs> your the, secret is safe with us. Oh yeah. Don't, don't tell anybody, but, um, it it just it cooks faster and it it you can get more intense heat and in, out of that smaller oven so um, we've been super happy with it um, there was a quite a learning curve on equipment um, we did learn that uh, you don't ever buy used refrigeration equipment no matter how cheap it is don't buy it um, but uh, no we've we've got it you know it's you could see the wrap on it and uh, you know we totally we actually it used to be hunter houses. Uh, burgers in Birmingham's yeah. trailer and then they they actually um, built a truck a, a drive truck and uh, so we went and looked at that and it was a good deal and we bought it so and, yeah. and life goes on how does somebody get a hold of you to see whether or not using your truck and trailer might make their party a better party so sickpizza.com you can go to that's got our phone number or it's got a info at sickpizza.com for the email um, email is best for me because I'm always in and out either in the truck or the store um, and if you send me an email with an inquiry I'm gonna get back to you within the day and uh, we can give you a, a price list and um, you know we, we try to cater the menu to cater yeah pun intended okay. we, we try to cater the menu to uh, whatever folks want so um, if you're more you want to really have the best thing and a huge variety uh, we can do that if you're really concerned if price point is a is your number one concern we can also work with that so um, I appreciate that one last why sick pizza I love the name it's distinctive how did it come about so sick pizza um, a super long story made short is my partner is Tom Bailey and he is a uh, drive and drag race car guy that's um, a huge presence on YouTube and um, just an all-around good guy mm -hmm. and he was uh, one of the people I went to when I originally wanted to open the pizza place and uh, we ended up partnering up and his car is called Six Seconds because it does a six second quarter mile as a street car. So, uh, which is ridiculously fast. It's crazy. Yeah. It's 250 miles an hour. It's, it's crazy. So he, um, he said, I'm, I'm all in, let's call it sick pizza. And I said, you know, I, I don't know that we can do that. Like we just got out of a pandemic. It might not be the thing to do. And, and, uh, he said something like, uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity, just publicity. It's all how you deal with it. So, um, it's, it's went very well. Like, um, that explanations had to happen less and less over the past year or so, but originally there was a lot of questions and a lot of furrowed brows that, uh, I'm not going to eat there. It's called sick. It's like, well, that's your loss. Cause you're going to love it. So, uh, most of those people have come back and eaten and they keep coming back. So, well, if you haven't been here, be here. This is great pizza, a great guy who's a promoter of town. And we certainly thank you, Scott, for being here and thank you for taking a few minutes today. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks for everything you do. Good to talk to you, buddy. Appreciate you. See you soon. See you soon. Stay tuned. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. Hungry kids get sick more often and can struggle in school it can be harder for them to focus and learn. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids 
so they can build better futures. We want to ensure that all of our kids have healthy meals every day. Thank you. Thank you for helping feed our kids. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. Chuck Cameron here with Paul Bobaltz. We're at Design by Chance down in beautiful downtown Oxford. And uh, I love your shop. Well, we're here as part of the follow-up to the Oxford Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting that we talked about earlier. Um, what's it mean to you and to your business to be a part of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce? We'll start with that. Uh, well, being part of the chamber has really helped us get our name out there um, and let other businesses know that uh, we can help them with promotional items, personal items for themselves or gifts for uh, family members. Um, so with them being able to share our posts and share what we do, uh, we've definitely generated some uh, some good business and good relationships with other chamber uh, members. Good, excellent. So tell us about your inventory. Tell us what you do and how did you get into this stuff. The, the stuff in the wall looks very interesting. How did you get involved in this? Uh, well, as I tell everybody, uh, my wife uh, was really adamant um, about us investing in ourselves about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, so we uh, took the plunge and bought a... Uh, laser engraver that's in our garage um, and a lot of the stuff you see on the shelves here these are all engraved this is a uh, sublimation printing here um, so uh, we saw the potential and uh, you know the the type of personalization and custom things we could do for people and we kind of ran with it Good. so you've got hats and woodworking and drink stuff and what are these puzzle back puzzle things on the back what's the deal there uh, those down there are actually uh, workshop kits. Um, you can take those home. You can paint them in store. Um, they're, uh, let, we got some examples over there. Can you see what a finished product looks like? And uh, they have interchangeable parts for different seasons. So uh, it's kind of like a home decor uh, personal project you can come in and paint. Just in theory, if there were any grandparents listening, that might be a good thing? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely bring your grandkids down. Um, we have open paint one to six. Uh, we're here Monday through Friday. Uh, no need to make a reservation. Uh, just, just hop on in. And if you want something uh, different than what we offer, just give us a call and we can cut it out for you. So you've got caps and drinking stuff and there's some woodwork stuff back there too. Tell us about the wood stuff. Uh, those are just our basic cutting boards. Um, a lot of people lately, um, actually a lot this week, uh, I've been getting pictures um, of people's properties or new homes um, from realtors, and I've engraved those pictures uh, right on the yep, right on the bamboo cutting boards. So um, you know the the homeowner has a memento to uh, hang in their house, and um, it's personalized right to them. That's that's their home. It's a special idea. Do the do the real estate people know about this neat service? Uh, some of them do. Um, Hopefully more uh, after uh, we're done here, uh, we'll know about it. But um, yeah, um, any any type of realtor, you need a closing gift, uh, come and see us. We can we can personalize something for you or uh, for your clients. Okay. So your shop is where? Uh, we're located at 14 South Washington Street, right next to Vicky's. Right next to Victoria's, which is an amazing place to be. I don't I don't imagine you lunch there every day. Uh, no, uh, it's it's hard uh, it's hard not to though because uh, we get the smells coming in the building. It's it's hard to refrain from doing that. Exactly right. All right. So you're in town. You're open from what what hours during the week? Uh, right now through summer, we're open Monday through Friday, one to six. Excellent. And people should come here. Why? Uh, if you want uh, a gift for whoever, um, you want to pick up a project to paint for yourself. Um, I mean, we can we can help you with any really aspect or, or project or item that you want to customize or personalize. Excellent. So, would you say it's been worthwhile to have this business and this place in this town at this time? Is it has it been good so far for you too? Uh, yes, it has. Um, starting off, um, you know, a lot of people didn't know we were here. Um, we're still getting new people in the door daily that don't know we're here, so that's good um, that they know we're here now. Um, but yeah, starting out is a little bit, a uh, little bit scary, but with the warmer weather, people out and about, uh, we're getting more foot traffic. So it's been good. Right. I want to thank you for taking a few minutes. I want to wish you good luck. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And this is Chuck Cameron with Paul, enjoying a wonderful place and hoping that you will watch Oxford TV. You'll stop by design by chance. Correct. Yep. And, uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to talk with you. You too.
you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Well, Chuck Cameron here from Oxford Community Television in Paramount Building Products. It's very cool. And I'm here with Eric Reno. Eric, what's going on here today, buddy? Not too much, man. We're just here to uh, get some roofs put on and, and work. Okay. So, All right. Well, we thank you for taking a few minutes. I know you guys are busy. Um, we talk about businesses and following up on the ribbon cutting ceremonies. Okay. So you put in some time and money investment in, in Oxford mm -hmm. a few months ago, last year, I guess. How has it gone so far for you? How's business and what's it like being a part of this community now? Yeah, it's been it's been honestly amazing. Yeah. Uh, we moved here. We didn't expect to uh, move as fast as we did, and we didn't expect the community to welcome us the way that they did. Um, so business has been great. The community has been outstanding. Um, all of the events that you guys have and things that we can be a part of and really make a difference in the community is really the difference in you know, all the other places that we've been. So what do you think you bring to our community? Um, a breath of fresh air when it comes to the construction world. Okay. We do everything the right way, and we back it by our warranties, and we are 100% here. If you need us, we're right downtown. Boom. Excellent. Right. Plus, you don't have any problem figuring out where to eat lunch or dinner, do you? That's one of the best parts. The food's so good. <laughs> so yes. So if you had it to do again, would you come back to Oxford? Oh, 100%. Excellent. Yeah. So what's it, what's it like being, does the Chamber of Commerce membership mm -hmm. bring you any value as a businessman? Absolutely. Um, it, it's like, you know, if you're a farmer planting seeds, you know, we're planting seeds and, and eventually they grow. Um, you don't just show up somewhere and all of a sudden become, you know, a full garden, right? We have to plant the seeds and yep. become a member and get to know the other members. And we work with a lot of them, refer a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's just a great place to network. Some of the chamber activities are the coffee and connect and those kinds of things like that. Are, are you able with your schedule to do any of that? Yeah, absolutely. We join as much as we can or we send a representative. It's not always me, but someone. Excellent. All right. Well, any words for the folks out there about what it's like to be a new business person in Oxford? Absolutely. It's it's a great community. It's definitely worth joining and at least taking a look into. You can join the chamber, right, without being here or no? Yep. You can. So, yeah, why not come meet us one time and, and, you know, ask us some questions. Excellent. All right. We thank you very much for your time. Nice shop you've got. And thank you. I'd like to get to your Romeo place someday. That's the that's the mothership, right? Absolutely. All right. All right. Well, thanks for time. I hope you have a very successful next few years. Thank you. We'll All see right. you again soon. For Until the next time, Chuck Cameron, OCTV. Have a good day. Bye-bye. why you can see why we're interviewing Amy today and the remarkable work that the chamber does and it's pleasant to know that there are a lot of businesses who really are are pleased to be a part of that organization and this town yes it, it, it's a long-standing um, networking the chamber has been around for over 50 years in Oxford and um, it shows that your business is definitely committed to the community when you become part of the chamber. Excellent. Amy, thank you for taking a few minutes. I know the day is busy, and the day is also beautiful. Thanks it for is. It's meeting a great us day. in the park. Uh, thank right. you. So for Chuck and Amy, we hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And shop Oxford. It's a great place to be, and it's a great place to spend some money. And watch OCTV. And watch. Never argue with a lady. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Have, Have a, a good, good day. day. All right. Stay alive. <laughs>